Do you know what the most discussed topic since November 2022 is? Yes, I'm talking about ChatGPT. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what ChatGPT is and how ChatGPT works. And also give you some examples of how you can use ChatGPT in your day to day life. So if you are someone who's interested in this, then make sure you watch the video till the end. So what is ChatGPT? In simple terms, ChatGPT is a chatbot that can interact with humans just like a real person. It can understand and respond to a wide variety of uh, topics and even hold a conversation in, in multiple languages. Now you're going to say, Sonny, that's crazy. How can ChatGPT do all those things? So ChatGPT uses an advanced AI model and has been trained on a massive data set of human conversation that allows it to understand and generate uh, natural responses. With ChatGPT, you can have a conversation about almost anything. It can give you information, it can tell you jokes, it can write a code, of code for you, it can develop a software for you, and the possibilities are endless. If you have used ChatGPT before watching this video, make sure you let me know in the comment section which ChatGPT prompt was a lot useful for you. And for those of you who haven't used ChatGPT before, let's dive into my computer and let me show you how to use it. So in order to start using ChatGPT, the first step is to sign up. So open your preferred browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome. Simply go to chat.openai.com and this will take you to the ChatGPT's website. Uh, click on sign up. Click on sign up. Uh, so you've got three options really. Uh, you can either use your personal email address uh, to sign up or you can use your existing Google or Microsoft account. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use my personal email address uh, to show you how the process works. So simply uh, enter your email address, click on continue, uh, add your password and make sure you add, uh, add a strong password and if possible, uh, use a password manager uh, to keep all your passwords secure. Uh, click on continue then it should send you an email uh, a verification email to your email address so I have already got my email account open here and then you can see open AI have sent me an email uh, simply click on verify email address then it will ask you to enter your details so I'm just gonna enter my details and it will ask you to verify your phone number in this case I already have my phone number attached to my main account so I'm not going to show you how to verify your phone number because it's really simple. But once you've uh, added your phone number and clicked on send code, it should send you an SMS on your phone with a code. So on the next screen, you simply add the code and you should be able to log in. Now that you've signed up, uh, the next step is to log into ChatGPT. Uh, so simply click on login. It should take you to the login screen. So if you're gonna use your account that we just created, simply add your email address and click on continue to add your password and then click on sign in. In this case, I'm gonna use my existing account, uh, uh, but I'm gonna use my Gmail account so I can show you that option as well. Simply click on continue with Google, simply click on your account, and then it should log you into ChatGPT. Uh, so now that we are logged in now, let me quickly show you uh, the options on the sidebar. So we've got the first option, which is the clear conversation. So for every prompt you add uh, to the chat GPT, it will show you all your previous conversations here on the sidebar. So if you click on clear conversation and confirm, then it will clear all the conversations. There you go. There was one conversation and it's gone now. Although there is a new option uh, on ChatGPT now, they, they've got a paid plan now. So you can get a free plan and a paid plan, which is about 20 USD per month. It's not expensive uh, for what you get, uh, but you can pretty much do anything you want in, in the free version as well. But the only caveat here is the ChatGPT might not be available all the time. 
and the responses might be slow and it's not you, you you're basically not given the priority over the paid uh, members and the next option is the dark mode so you can uh, change the mode between dark and light mode uh, you can see the updates and FAQs and the last button is to log out so you can see it's basically a really simple uh, user interface and this sh and then show uh, a few examples here uh, you can see uh, explain quantum computing in simple terms got any creative ideas for a 10 years old birthday exam stuff like that and this is a really important section the, the capabilities of chat GPT so it remembers what the user said earlier in the conversation uh, it also allows user to provide follow-up corrections it's also trained to decline inappropriate requests uh, and to add to that it it does have some limitations uh, it may occasionally generate incorrect information we all know that chat GPT is pretty uh, new at the minute so it's still learning and developing so that's sort of expected may occasionally provide harmful instructions or biased content so you need to be careful uh, about what you believe uh, and it has limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021 uh, so it will accurately tell you what happened in the past but it can't predict the future basically now that we've signed up we've logged in and we've learned about the user interface let me show you a quick example uh, of how to use chat GPT so let's say for example I'm a student and I want uh, and I want an essay for my uh, submissions so if I say write an essay of about 200 words about Burj Khalifa which is a really famous building in Dubai simply press enter and you can see that uh, chat GPT within seconds had started generating the essay for me although this sort of information is really useful make sure you're already double checking your content going through it and making make sure you are you're adding your own words in there otherwise uh, there are detectors in place uh, which can detect that this uh, content was generated using an AI tool so that was that was one of the examples of using a chat GPT prompt the next pr next prompt I'm going to use is for web developers or PHP developers in this case because I have a background in PHP so I chose that as a, as an example uh, so if I say write a code in PHP for database connection let's see what it comes up with as you can see within seconds it has already started writing the code uh, that's interesting it's defining the variables uh, it's defining the connection string and it's uh, checking all the conditions as well so I think I think that's perfectly right code all you need to do is is uh, replace the variables with correct values and it's given you that in, in instructions as well that's so amazing does it mean the developers job is in danger or they can use chat GPT as a tool to help them develop faster let me know what your thoughts in the comment section below and the final example is I'm just gonna do a simple math what is the square root of just gonna type a random number and see what it comes up with it's taking a few seconds because obviously it's a complicated number but it should come back to you within a few seconds there you go the square root of this number is approximately uh, 65995.3358 and it will also show you how it came up with that answer which is really interesting
So yeah, those were the few examples uh, I had in mind uh, for this video today. But if you want to see more videos on ChatGPT and how you want to use it, please let me know in the comment section below. But if you find this video useful, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. That's all I got for you in today's video. If you love this video, make sure you share the video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. Also, let me know in the comment section below what type of videos you would like to see on this channel more. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing day.